We've reported on this a lot. Teachers in Colorado's classrooms need help. They're overworked and understaffed, and a new bill at the state legislature could help. It would make it easier to recruit teachers in Colorado. A recent survey by the Colorado Education Association found 85% of educators felt the teacher shortage is worse than they've ever seen it. Nine News reporter Julie Cesari is here to explain how this bill will hopefully make a difference. Get us some teachers. Yeah, this bill will allow Colorado to join the Interstate Teacher Mobility Compact. That's a fancy way of saying a group of states that will create a set of rules that should make it easier for educators to jump from one state to another. Supporters say it can make a major impact on the issues educators have been dealing with here. No textbook can really grasp the impact a teaching shortage has when the solution has yet to be written. Which at the end of the day means that kids don't get what they need. David Lockley is the president of District 12 Educators Association. More importantly, he's a middle school teacher that knows the consequences the shortage is having on education. Not only does it exponentially increase the workload when we're short uh, educators, it also really um, lowers the amount of individualized attention we can give each and every one of those, those students. A piece of legislation headed to the Senate floor is hoping to fix that. The bill will have Colorado join the Interstate Teacher Mobility Compact, a move the Colorado Education Association fully supports. Anything we can do like this to provide ways to eliminate that educator shortage is a positive thing. Amy baca Oler is the president of the CEA. She says the compact is a set of states that make it easier for teachers to take jobs out of the state from where they are licensed. So our hope is that when we have something like this enacted, it will allow us to start the school year fully staffed and to maintain people in those positions all throughout the year. For Lockley, the bill would get more teachers here faster and easier. I, I would say probably more than 10 times, uh, probably 100 times easier. But he knows this is just a Band-Aid. He hopes the perception of the teaching field changes so others want to make a career out of it. You know, we have to talk about education with all of its greatness. Um, not saying there's not growth, right? But we need to lead with greatness and then say, and here's how we could be better. The House passed the bill. Now it's on the Senate floor. It's a big benefit for teachers looking to move because it will cut costs for those that may have to retake exams they already passed. But the Colorado Education Association says it will not deter from the high standard of educators in Colorado classrooms. Alex and Kim. Well, that's the first thing people are going to ask is like, we're still getting the same quality. It just seems like it's a lot of hoops to go through. And if, you know, perhaps a spouse or your children, you have to move and you need to want to get back to work. Well, it's interesting. The Department of Defense is actually a big supporter of this bill because of that. A lot of military spouses tend to move a lot. So this is actually going to make it a little bit easier for them to jump from classroom to classroom and not have to retake exams and go through a whole process all over again. Oh, that makes sense. The military. Yes. That can be expensive. It adds up like we need the teachers that this streamlines every the process of getting here. Sounds like a win win. OK, thanks, Jalisa.